Hi, this is Matt Marchin, and this video is for those who have taken the class Flatten Your Stomach, and we are now going to go through our corrective stretches. So stretch number one for the front of the neck is the chin up hold. We're going to take the shoulders, drive the shoulders down, turn your palms forward, teeth together, drive the chin back, take your eyeballs and look back, hold that position, make sure you're breathing from your nose in and out. It should be a nice mild stretch, you're not trying to force it. You're going to hold that for 10 to 30 seconds. Next one, we're doing the 2 and 10 chin up. Um, and this is how we're going to do it. So if you think of that first one, I'm going straight back at 12 o'clock. If I were to go just like this, you can see the bill of my hat kind of move. The next one, we're going to go off at either 10 or 2 o'clock. Okay? What we're going to do on this one, we're not going to hold it more than one exhalation. So it's going to look like this. One. Two. So that first one you're feeling right in the front. The second one you're going to feel there's a muscle right behind your ear. You're going to feel that all the way down possibly to the collarbone. So we're getting this muscle on the side as opposed to right in front. It's a slight difference, but it's very important in keeping that head in correct position. Next one, uh, for the chest, the bent arm hold. I'm going to show you kind of out in the open. It would be Obviously better if I was in a doorway or even a wall. So, you're going to go up to a doorway or a wall, place your hand just like this, start at 90 degrees, move that hand slightly higher than your shoulder, so it's stuck up against the wall. I'm going to step forward with my opposite foot, thus pushing my arm back, and then I rotate my shoulder, my chin, and my eyes away, getting a stretch right here. That's chest stretch number one. Number two is pretty much the same thing, I'm just keeping my arm out straight. So now, instead of forearm on, I'm going to place my hand on that uh, door jam or on the wall. I'm going to lock my elbow. Instead of going straight out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my hand up. Same thing, I'm taking my opposite foot, I'm stepping forward, and I'm rotating out. And as I rotate out, you'll feel that stretch here. So that's stretch two for the chest. Both of those are very important. And again, this helps open us up from this kind of posture. Okay? Next one, a really good one, the Sphinx Pose. There should be uh, no pain in your spine when you do this. So what we're going to do is you're going to be on the floor, on a mat somewhere. You're laying down right here. You take your forearms down, start walking your forearms back, lift your shoulders, Lift your chin, and that's it. You do not want to squeeze your glutes. If you squeeze your glutes, you tighten your back up, and you will not get a stretch in your back. Okay? Again, this is a very healthy position for the spine to be in. It might feel completely unnatural, but that's typically because we sit in the other position flexed and not extended. But typically in this position, you will have the correct amount of curve in your lower back. Okay? And you hold that position. That again is called the Sphinx Pose. And uh, that's actually a really, really good position just to stay in. A lot of times after exercise, uh, I will go into that position just to uh, loosen up the back. So if you find yourself sitting a lot, if appropriate to do it wherever you work or at home, I would suggest get into the Sphinx Pose. Uh, because we sit like this a lot, it opens up the back. And we're going to hold that for uh, 30 seconds. And uh, that's just the basic version. I'll show you real quick. The advanced version would be the Cobra pose. So here's Sphinx. Here's Cobra. You're locking your elbows. You need to make sure that uh, you have uh, a lot of mobility before you do that one. And the further you walk your hands out, the easier it gets. If you walk your hands in close and push up, you might not be able to get elbow lock. You might have to walk your hands out, but just start in Sphinx pose to start. Uh, next one, kneeling, hip, lunge, and hold. So it's exactly like our warm up, where I'm lunge, squeeze, back, lunge, squeeze, back. Now all I do is I stay up straight, I lunge, 
I'm not squeezing, I'm just holding it. I'm opening up the front of this hip right here. This part gets really tight from sitting. I'm opening it up. So I want to stay up nice and tall, nice and straight here. So it's just lunge, hold that. Okay? There's also more advanced versions of that too. You could pull this foot back like this, and then you really get a stretch. But just start in this position. Okay, and last one for our corrective stretches. We're going into the elevated hamstring hold. Holding that for 30 seconds. So again, it's real similar to our joint mobility. My foot is up straight. I flex my toes back. My knees are locked. My chest is up. I lean forward till I get a good stretch and hold. So for me right now, I'm feeling a decent stretch in my hamstrings. Don't need to push it. I would hold that for 30 seconds. Real quick point with all these stretches. As you hold around the 20 second mark with some of these, you'll, you might feel a release. So I might go and hold that right there. I'm feeling a good stretch. After 20 seconds, yeah, it's even loosening up right now as I speak. It's going to loosen up a little bit. You can continue to push forward a little bit with your stretch. The main thing with your corrective stretches, um, with the exception of that 10 and 2, there's no movement. But even in that one, you're holding it just for the exhalation. So your joint mobility, there's movement to it. Your stretches, you're just holding it. So, those are your seven corrective stretches for better posture. All right.